Hello guys and girls, Selwyn here and I've decided to do my first cast of a pro game and this is going to be between Aegean Darkfall spawning as the yellow Zerg in the bottom position against Empire cast spawning as the blue Terran in the left position. So this should be really really interesting. Uh, this is going to be my first game, as I said, casting a pro game and I'm not too familiar with either of these two players so I'm not quite sure what playstyle they have so this should be really really interesting to see anyway so not a lot gonna be going on right here off the bat uh, we just see the usual stuff a little bit of dronage and a little bit of SCVH if you can call it that so we are gonna get a supply depot at the ramp to sort of plug off, uh, plug off and try to deny any run, run buys or scouting of course this does mean that if you put a supply depot here it is more uh, acceptive, nah it's more vulnerable to baneling busts so if AT and Dark Force decides to go for a baneling bust that could be a lot easier for him as opposed to if he puts down two racks in the opening here and blocks off with that instead so we'll have to see what happens Anyway, uh, Dark Force does see that Empire Cast has spawned in the close air position and that should make him a little more happy because he knows there's going to be quite a lot longer to run if if uh, Cast decides to go for a uh, a two rack rush. Uh, that is quite a lot easier to defend in the close air positions than in the close ground. So uh, that opens up a lot more possibilities for macro for Dark Force. So that should be really interesting to see. Now we see Empire Cast going for an early gas so this thing indicates that there's not going to be any form of two racks play whatsoever. Uh, this could mean however a uh, stim marine marauder timing push or depending on how soon he takes this second gas could be a banshee rush but doesn't look like he's going for that second gas so probably not going to see a banshee rush either. So yeah Empire Cast here going to be scouting down straight down to the right position. Now he doesn't know where Dark Force is just yet but he will know that in just a moment. Now he will see this fast expand here from Dark Force but he will not have any time to do anything about it uh, because spawning pool for Dark Force is almost done so he will have circlings out to defend it to defend this in time. Now we do see uh, Cass here moving out with a couple of marines just to see if he can put any pressure on uh, Dark Force here as he may not have gone for any circlings yet but we do see two circlings coming out here just pro most likely to take this Sanlaga Tower and then to place one out here in front of uh, Empire Casa space just to see what's going on. Now we do see a very very defensive bunker coming up here for uh, Empire Cas. Now I'm not quite sure what good this one will do him but that will allow him to put up more bunkers closer to the uh, expansion of uh, Dark Force and maybe that way try to squeeze in a little bit of pressure but in terms of uh, early pressure this is not the most effective ever because as we can see Dark Force uh, here in a pretty good position he doesn't have to really do anything about this he just has to get that spine crawler up and he's safe so uh, yeah spine crawler is finished and that means that Empire Cast cannot do anything to lock down this expansion of course he can uh, contain uh, Dark Force at these two bases for a little while but not sure this bunker is going to do much good for uh, for Empire Cast. However of course the bunker can be salvaged so it doesn't actually cost Empire Cast anything to to apply this pressure. Now we do see the Hellion coming out for Empire Cast and that could be quite dangerous for Dark Force uh, if he decides to swing around the back here and go for some probe harass but there is good placement of the, both the queen and the uh, spine crawler so probably going to be denied. Now if we have a look here we have the speed links now coming in for Dark Force going to try to uh, harass and stop this expansion here and uh, yeah oh no almost gets that hellion there but it managed to get away unscathed so uh, yeah this harass is going to be shut down really really soon. Now Dark Force here having a bit of uh, Miss Micro there, his queen running off to try to save the day on her own and almost get killed off by the three marines in that bunker right there but as we can see here Empire Cast safely gets up his expansion. So 
if we have a look here, we got the Roachmine and the Lair coming down for that force, and nothing much going on in uh, in Empire Castle space just just yet. Now we with the uh, Lair coming up for that force, we might see a timing push of perhaps burrowed uh, speed roaches or anything in that uh, area. Now that can be quite effective, but the longer you get into the game, the more marines there are going to be on the field, and of course there's going to be more marauders on the field as well, so not sure how effective that will be just yet, but we'll have to wait and see. Now we do see Empire Cast moving out here with a, f uh, with a good amount of Hellions, and that's probably going to put some, uh, some good pressure on Dark Force at this point, as he does not yet have those roaches out. Now we do see five on the way, so they might just spawn in time. Yeah, those roaches are going to be out just in time to stop these Hellions from doing any good at all. So, really, really nice timing for Dark Force here, and really, really unlucky for, for Empire Cass. Now Dark Force decides that that bunker should not be there, because this is his base and not the Terran's base. So, uh, yeah, Empire Cass deciding to salvage the bunker and move back home in safety, but those three means are going to get sniped by the Circlings. And let's see, yeah, we still have the roaches in the base for Dark Force, so these Hellions still are not going to be able to do any, any good. Now, if we have a look at it in Pyrocasus base here, we do have two racks with Tech Labs on doing a stim and uh, shield upgrades, so we're going to be seeing some good, uh, good infantry on the behalf of uh, Empire Cas as well as the engineering bay coming down for the plus one and from this point on this is going to be mostly a macro game for sure both players setting up good bases uh, and gonna try to expand m most certainly soon uh, as we see Dark Force here starting to have a lot of minerals floating around so he's probably gonna throw down his third hatch within the next two minutes of game time uh, and and try to get ahead because if Empire Cass gets to do this base for more than two minutes more without Dark Force expanding he's going to be way way ahead uh, because a two base circuit is not going to have any form of a chance against